Hi guys, so today's video is a family traditions and Christmas tablescape collab video. And this video or collaboration was hosted by Kimberly Davis, Diva Designing on a Dime. So I will have her link to her channel in the description box below. And also all of the other ladies that participated in this collab, make sure you check out their videos and see what wonderful traditions and tablescapes that they have as well. So let me get started with this video and tell you what our family traditions are. Okay guys, so our family traditions, we don't have too many of them and I kind of realized that as I was growing up and the main traditions that we had was just going to my grandparents' house either on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, either side and I really enjoyed that on my mom's side or my dad's side each and every year or the day after Christmas. So that was really, really um, exciting. Now I wish we had more places to go and visit but... I knew one day that those places to go and visit wasn't going to last forever. So I wanted to incorporate or try to do some traditions at my home. And I'm still working on that. <laughs> so the main tradition that I guess I try to do each and every year is to mainly cook for my family and to decorate and to make it homey and just heartfelt every year for them. So the main tradition that we do every single year is breakfast. They really enjoy breakfast. I don't cook breakfast, a big old huge breakfast every single week or Saturday or even every month. So um, when it's birthdays, holidays or Christmas, I will make a huge breakfast for them and on Christmas they love one particular dish in particular it's the breakfast casserole I will link that video across the screen and in that video in the description box is the breakfast casserole recipe with that recipe you can make it vegetarian we normally have sausage and you can also add bacon to it as well and then you can also add green onions and peppers. We have done it so many different ways and we love it all different ways. Also, I always try to mainly go on Pinterest or a cookbook, but mainly Pinterest and find a brand new recipe that my family may like or incorporate that and they may ask for it if they want that that this year so they love the honey bun cake we had last year and so we're going to have that again this year the new thing we're going to have this year is shrimp and grits so that's another thing another tradition that my mom has been doing for a long time is making her christmas cookies and those are simply just crackers with peanut butter sandwich crackers with melted chocolate and you dip that in the chocolate put it on parchment paper and you put sprinkles on it before it gets hard and we simply love that. After all of the years, we realized that the vanilla chocolate is so much better than the milk chocolate, but all of, both of them are great. One tradition I wanna make sure that we do this year and start doing, because this video had me actually thinking about traditions even more, was going around and looking at all the lights. I know my mom and I and um, the kids, we get a kick out of going and looking at the lights. So we wanna make it a family thing. My mom says that people don't decorate their homes like they used to, where you can just ride around the neighborhood. And we try to find places around, um, right in the neighborhood, but there is one particular area out where we go. And we have went once or twice and people just line up in their cars and they just look at the yard and they just look at all the lights. So if you're in the North Carolina area, I think it's off of Penny Road in Cary. And then it's another area in Wilson, but that's a little bit too far from us in the Tanglewood, I believe they call it Tanglewood area. And they said that is just to die for. So people like drive just to ride out there and go through and look through all the beautiful lights. So that's one tradition I will really love to start doing on an annual basis with my family. Another tradition that I would like to do, it's somewhere in the mountains that one of my friends posted on Facebook 
was actually like a Polar Express. And I would love to do that, especially Josiah is so young. Katra, JJ is still young right now. And you ride your PJs on a train and they tell stories and I believe you eat on the train and everything. So we want to do that one year. I would really love to do that with them and also for a couple of years maybe before christmas eve or something like that have that plan and then also i would love 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 to do that with my grandkids so that would be something that would be just totally awesome that we start now and then we'll bring the grandkids and say oh we did this when you were when um your mom and when your dad was little so that would be awesome okay guys so my christmas tablescape this year was peppermint inspired <laughs> or snowflake winter wonderland inspired so i first wanted to do a winter wonderland when i saw these huge snowflakes at the dollar tree and i want to use them as chargers but with the silver charger they kind of got a little lost and as i was progressing and looking at the table and thinking and knowing that my dining room is red and everything i decided to change my mind and maybe i'll do it another day another year but I went with peppermint and so with the centerpiece here this was Pinterest inspired and instead I used a square container from the Goodwill it was glass and I just used rubber bands to connect the peppermint one to the glass and then the ones down the side were actually hot glued on and it will just simply pop off styrofoam down in the middle and use the roses that I used in my Valentine's tablescape place those down in there ribbon from the Dollar Tree bow from the Dollar Tree and the peppermint ribbon from Michaels place it on my cake stand and then the swags here are actually from QVC and they're called Bethlehem lights and I use these outside and yes they are clean use these outside for six years so the lights some of the lights like the red lights they're multi color lights they don't work as well, but they still flicker a little bit. And I didn't feel like decorating this year outside, so I just said I'll just put them on my table. And then each place setting here is a silver charger, a glass plate from the Dollar Tree, a snowflake from the Dollar Tree, a candy cane from the Dollar Tree, and then a little red doily from Michaels. And I just place the... Um, napkins from the Dollar Tree down in the class and I didn't want to order any special or sometimes I will order some napkins but I didn't want to do that this year and I really really adore this tablecloth from Walmart and I love that it's like glittery literally literally I can't never say that word and I love that it's sparkly and it reflects like the light like someone dropped glitter on glitter on it so it's really pretty and then I like these little white houses that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree and so I thought I'd just stick those on the table and the candle holder that I've used in numerous things and the flameless light silver one down in the middle this was the Pinterest inspired DIY as well and this is just that cone shaped foam styrofoam piece that I picked up from Michaels and Dollar Tree did sell these as well on a smaller scale but I couldn't never get my hands back on um, one of them and I just hot glued each one you're going to start at the bottom layer and you just work your way up and this one worked out perfect I think the other one I had to cut some of them off and this project was a little tedious but it worked out and then I just hot glued the candlestick to the bottom of the styrofoam and then just made like a little bow up at the top and over here I wrap my pictures over here and then I move my medallion and put my Bethlehem lights wreath that I normally have on my door I this is multicolor lights as well on here battery operated but I thought turning on the lights in here would be a little bit much so what I did was I took out the old ribbon put in new ribbon just hot glued um the candy canes there just a little bit because i know i want to change them eventually and the snowflakes i already had in there before created a bow 
and then these are some really really lightweight pictures that I had in my bedroom and I just wrapped those and placed the bow from the Dollar Tree and that's the same ribbon that's on the end of the tables so that turned out oh really really well and then I like how the blue incorporates with the blue that I have in the ribbon and other places and then the peppermint in the wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree this wrapping paper I had already and I had another wrapping paper and it did not look good at all I kept looking at it for days and I was like no let me change it and I had this on hand so that was like awesome that I already had that on hand and then this is a DIY project this is just a styrofoam ball and peppermints and star um, glue guns work really really well together so this is a great awesome project it was super easy like kids could do this and then you just use a dowel and stick it at the bottom of the styrofoam um, down in here and at the bottom of the ball and but it gets really heavy so you have to make sure you um, make sure you put it in there really level so and here I put a sneak peek on Pinterest not Pinterest Instagram of the swag I was working on and this is actually two swags in one and the longer swag is actually from Bethlehem Lights as well from QVC and then I added it to the swag here and then I used the ribbon a candy cane some deco mesh you guys know I love deco mesh some silver deco mesh, the white snowflakes, the clear snowflakes from Dollar Tree. And then here, All Hearts Come Home, I just stuck this on a dowel here, on the back, a wooden dowel. Hot glued it, and I'm going to do the other one for a little buffet area I'm making for my husband's friends are coming over. And then here is that same... Um, ceramic holder that I got from the Target One spot that I used in the Thanksgiving tablescape so I placed it here and I just gave it some height with a glass container and I had these picture frames they came from the Dollar Tree and these little stickers actually come from Michaels they didn't work well in my planner so I thought I would stick them on here and this was a DIY project as well. It I mean I meant to make more of these, but I didn't. And with this, you just put this on a cookie sheet. You'll unwrap all the peppermints and you place them on a cookie sheet and bake to 330 degrees. But make sure you put parchment paper on there. And you just pop it out. And you can use this as a serving tray if you're having like a cocoa bar party or something like that but you can put rolls on here you can put glasses on here slices of cake cookies cupcakes different things like that but I never got around to making more and then also I just hot glued some peppermints to the tray from the Dollar Tree so guys that is it I used my curtains that I was about to throw away here this is actually two curtains and it wasn't quite long enough so I had to finish it off with some ribbon to make it look more finished and that's it guys so I appreciate you so much for watching taking the time out to like and comment and subscribe as always guys I hope you guys are ready for Christmas Got all your ducks in a row. <laughs> I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. And don't forget, again, to check out the ladies in the description box. And thanks so much, Kimberly, for hosting this collaboration. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And Merry Christmas.